Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Welcome to another video. Got my old Pac-Man shirt on today because I'm going super retro today, but I am talking about Centipede Recharged by Atari for the Nintendo Switch. Now this game is for multiple platforms, PS4 and 5, Steam, uh, Xbox One, and you know, computers, pretty much you name it. It's definitely available for a lot of modern platforms, including the new, you know, the newer version of the Atari, the Atari VCS. Now, I don't have an Atari VCS, and when you get Centipede Recharged for the VCS, it does have exclusive content. But I downloaded it to my Switch, and very briefly, before I get into my review of the game, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my history with Centipede, because after all, this is Tales from a Retro Gamer, and I go back almost to the beginning of video games. So I just wanna tell you briefly, you know, I did grow up playing Centipede in the early 80s in the local mall at Land of Oz and Aladdin's Castle and at Malibu Grand Prix. Loved Centipede and the sequel Millipede. And I remember I was really excited when uh, it came out for the Atari 2600 Centipede and Millipede as well, the sequel to Centipede. And I love Millipede in the arcades probably even better than Centipede. I love hitting those DDT clouds and it explodes. It's awesome. You know, Centipede for the 2600, you know, has the square mushrooms and everything. Still a fun game. The trackball's not great for it because it really doesn't move the firing implement really much faster or even faster at all than the joystick. But Atari 5200 Centipede, holy cow. Incredible trackball action, very arcade-like. And the roller controller for Centipede for the ColecoVision works well also. I love both of these versions of Centipede. And they actually, a few years ago, there were some, see Centipede Recharge is sort of a modernized version of Centipede. And a few years ago, they did some modern takes on Centipede, such as this game for the Dreamcast. Now this added some adventure elements, some different perspectives. It's not a pure Centipede experience like Centipede Recharged is. Centipede Recharged is very old school, and I'll get to that in a minute. I um, just want to talk about another game here very briefly. Centipede Inf Infestation is sort of a behind-the-back shooter, a little bit top-down shooter, you know, just sort of a mix. Third-person shooter, we are running around shooting. It's fun, as is Centipede for the Dreamcast. Both games are a lot of fun, and I've enjoyed those, and I actually beat the Wii version, Centipede Infestation. Cool games, but not nearly as good as Centipede Recharged. Holy cow, I've been having so much fun this, with this game. I absolutely love it. Now, before I get into some of the details, I wanna talk briefly, just give you a quote from Atari CEO Wade Rosen, because he's uh, talking about the fact that Atari is bringing out, um, you know, reimagined, updated versions of these old games. He goes, we're so excited to bring these classic genre-defining games to modern consoles. Our goal is to create faithful adaptations that ooze with nostalgia and style. And we're looking forward to providing that to the old school fans that loved Centipede as kids and a new generation of players who appreciate high quality arcade action and 80s aesthetic. Sounds a lot like what the Amico's trying to do, right? When it comes out at some point. But right now we've got this on the Atari, you know, from Atari for modern consoles and I could not be more excited. Uh, apparently there's a Missile Command recharged, I believe, and I know there's a Black Widow recharged that's already out. I don't have Black Widow yet, but I've just been having so much fun with Centipede Recharged. I almost can't stand it. It's so great. Um, now you're playing it, obviously, on your widescreen television, which is a different uh, perspective, you know, than the old Centipede arcade game, which is vertical. Um, you know, you got to moving your fire firing implement across the screen, you know, it takes little bit of time to get across but that's okay it, it, it works fine uh, you know the centipedes are you know wriggling down the screen old school you're firing at bugs you're, you're firing at the mushrooms you know just like in the old game now one thing is very different about this game among a few others that I'll get to the spider and the old version of centipede the original centipede that bounces quickly around the screen you remember if you shot it very closely you would get more points than if it was a little further away and it would hit you very challenging uh, to get away from the spider and to shoot the spider. Well, the spiders in Centipede Recharged, they don't hop around like that. They do appear and they crawl towards the bottom, but when you shoot them, they release power-ups. Now, there's some really super cool power-ups on Centipede Recharged, 
including spread fire. Ever since the days of Contra, I've absolutely loved spread fire on pretty much any game it's been on, and I absolutely love it here. There's 12 different power-ups. Explosive bullets is one of my favorite. It sort of creates a fireworks effect, and that's fun. Um, my wife says her favorite is the spread fire. She likes that a lot. And one that's interesting is like a ghost power-up that scares the bugs away. They crawl up the top of the screen, but there's a dozen and all, and they're all necessary. They come in handy at different times, but this is a one button shooting game. You're not selecting your weapons or pushing other buttons. It's super simple, super intuitive, and super, super, super fun. The key word here is super. I've been absolutely loving my time with this game, and I did play this the other night with my wife in co-op mode, and it's completely cooperative. Your scores aren't separate, you know, they're, you're, when you shoot, you're adding to the same total, and it's completely cooperative, which is absolutely perfect for us. And uh, I didn't really miss the trackball with this game. You know, the arcade original obviously had the trackball, and the ColecoVision and Atari 5200, the trackballs work so well with those home versions. But I honestly didn't miss the trackball here for whatever reason. Now, Centipede Recharge doesn't include the original Centipede. I wish that would have happened. That would have been pretty cool if it included the original Centipede, you know, as an option. But it does have um, challenge modes, such as avoiding shooting the Centipedes altogether and just shooting the other bugs and you know to reach a high score quickly just to perform certain tasks on the screen that's a separate mode challenge mode so that those are pretty fun as well and those playing those challenge modes will actually get you better at the central centipede game you know the basic game uh, to get your high, your scores higher now there's not like an online cooperative mode unfortunately but i do love the local co-op mode it is awesome um, i've just been having a blast with this game i love the simplicity of it i love that it's rapid fire I love that it's a fast paced game and that it's just super simple to pick up and play whether you're playing it on your TV screen or on the go with your Switch, assuming you're playing it on the Switch. I am intrigued by the fact that the Atari VCS has some extras, but hey, I don't have an Atari VCS. I didn't want to pay $400 for it and I didn't see it as, um, you know, it just, I don't know. Maybe some at some point I'll get a VCS. If they make enough of these recharged games with extra features, Maybe that'll be the boost I need to get uh, an Atari VCS. We'll see about that, but I've just absolutely been having a blast with this game. Now, there's a bit of a sameness with the visuals over the time. There's, uh, you know, there's sort of a, they're not really vector graphics exactly, but they sort of have that aesthetic and uh, the sound effects get a little old after a while. So with extended play, perhaps the uh, aesthetic uh, audio visuals will get a little tiresome after a while. I never really got tired of the musical score. It's really good. But these are tiny gripes. Um, I didn't really get tired of them. I'm just stretching a little bit for, I mean, I did and didn't. It didn't keep me from wanting to play more, but I did. it did cross my mind at some point, especially when I was playing on my Switch uh, with earbuds put in, the shooting sounds, and, uh, you know, that got a little old after a while, and it does the aesthetic. Just, you know, over time, you plan it for hours and hours. It doesn't change that much in terms of color and aesthetic, but that's okay. I'm still having an incredible time with it, and I'm going to keep playing that. I can just see playing that periodically from now on, like I do uh, some of my arcade classics. So what I want to know from you guys and gals, let me know if you have played Centipede Recharged and what you think of it, or if you played Black Widow Recharged, or, uh, you know, what you think about this, you know, in general, about Atari coming out with uh, these modernized versions of old games. Personally, as you can tell, I think it's super cool, and hopefully they'll just do a whole bunch moving forward. And at the $10 mark, I can certainly go with that. A game I'm going to play for hours and hours and hours, and then I will play. I can see playing this five or ten years from now. That's how much fun it was. And that's the thing about these old arcade games. For me, a lot of them never get old. And Centipede Recharge just had that old school vibe to it with some modern uh, embellishments. And I really like the way the power-ups work. You're maneuvering near the bottom of the screen and it gets crowded with bugs and mushrooms. And you think if I just would have, you know, moved this way a little bit quicker or have gotten that power up, you know, I could have survived. You know, you feel like it's your fault, which is a great feeling in a game. You don't feel like the game cheated or it was unfair or 
you know, mushroom hell or anything like that. Just a fun game. Centipede, Centipede Recharged, I give a very solid A. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. You guys have an awesome day, an awesome year, and an awesome life, and we will talk to you in another video. If you're a fan of my work, you might wanna consider supporting me on Patreon. For just a low fee each month, you get a lot of extra content. Another way to support the channel and my writing career is to buy books direct from me, including the 100 Greatest Console Video Games, the Classic Home Video Game Series, it's like an encyclopedia set, and this massive bad boy, the NES Omnibus Volume 1 A through L. I will put links in the description of this video where you can buy books direct from me and where you can support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. You know, wriggling down the screen, old school. You're firing at bugs, you're firing at, um, you know, the, the marsh marshmallows. Marshmallows. Marshmallows.